After playing Metro Awakening on both the Quest 3 and PCVR with an RTX 4090 powered PC, I'll be going over the differences I've found to shed some light on what some consider to be an extremely underwhelming PCVR experience. The primary differences between the Quest 3 and the PCVR versions of Metro Awakening are visual fidelity, increased performance and a minimal increase in texture quality. The Quest 3 version provides a solid and enjoyable experience, showcasing the increasing capabilities of standalone VR headsets. The game runs smoothly without any noticeable frame drops, graphics and textures are great throughout and I was overly impressed with how it performed, and I would highly recommend Metro Awakening to any MetaQuest 3 users. Now here's where things get a little blurry and a bit perplexing. After playing the Quest 3 version I was excited to try the PCVR version to see how much my RDX 4090 could push the game, however I was a bit disappointed to begin with as it felt very similar to the Quest 3 version. I then checked the graphics settings and found that everything was set to minimum. After changing all the settings to maximum and going back into the game it looked much better. Still, I wasn't fully impressed. The only noticeable differences were the enhanced shadows, lighting, particle effects and resolution scale. The overall texture settings are slightly better than the Quest 3 version, but despite having a texture option with multiple settings of low, medium, high and very high textures, every setting provides the exact same texture regardless of the setting you choose. So there seems to be something wrong with the texture options within the PCVR version. So unless I'm mistaken, this might explain the negativity towards the PCVR version. Additionally, users could be leaving all settings on medium, so be sure to change all the possible settings to high or very high. If you own a Quest 3, I recommend choosing the Quest version over the CMVR version. Currently the graphical differences between the two are minimal. If you have a VR capable PC, the Quest version offers cross-buy which means you'll own it on both Quest Standalone and Quest PCVR for free. As far as I'm aware, it's the same version as the Steam VR version. Ultimately though, the best choice for you depends on your hardware and priorities. Either way, the game itself is a fantastic VR experience that I have enjoyed on both Quest and Steam VR. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Until next time, stay awesome. Hmm. <laughs>